What's up everybody, Venom here with a quick review on Viewfinder. Let's get right into it. Viewfinder is a recently released puzzle game that will challenge you in some aspects and confuse you in others. Personally, I have some issues with the game, but I also have a lot of good things to say about it. So without further ado, let's get right into my thorough review on Viewfinder. Now, I played the game from start to finish. I beat it, and it only took me about three hours, which was quite surprising to me because I thought there would be a lot more content than there was, but nonetheless, it was different. When I say different, I mean that the game has an interesting way of taking puzzles to the next level. Rather than just solving quirky puzzles that you see around the map, you actually have to take pictures and use those pictures to make new terrain and find ways around obstacles. And that to me was really interesting. So we're gonna start out with what I liked about it and what I didn't really like about it. I also wanna say that this might be a bit of a spoiler. So I'm going to preface this video by saying, if you do not want to see in-game content and you would like to do all the puzzles yourself, you don't wanna see any form of spoilers, this review might not be for you because I'm gonna show a couple of scenes of me solving puzzles and actually traversing the game. So that is the spoiler warning, let's keep going. One thing I loved about it, first and foremost, is absolutely the scenery and the graphic quality. There is nothing wrong that I can find with the graphic quality or scenery or just the feel of the game in general. I think they did a beautiful job at taking these scenes and turning them into something funny and interesting and cool to look at, but also just very intricate and very well put together. And I like how everything is just, everything just ties together. Everything goes together very nicely. The puzzles make sense to the terrain and to the map that you're on everything just fit cohesively in terms of the quality of the video and i i like the, the graphic quality i mean there was no complaints there whatsoever i think that that's a big part of this game is the views right the the very pretty scenery that you get to see while you traverse the map and all in all no complaints i think that's one of my favorite things about this game is just it's very pretty to look at next i the puzzles i thought they were really nifty i thought that you know having to take pictures and figure out ways to maneuver the terrain around you and utilize these pictures to solve puzzles there's not just one way of doing it right so that's one of the cool things about this is like i was doing it my way and then after i finished the game i went and looked at some playthroughs and other people were using different methods to solve these puzzles. So there's more than one way to do things. And I think that's also very cool because instead of having to just like only do things a specific way and these puzzles have to be solved a certain way, you can figure it out for yourself. You can get creative and, you know, try different angles and, and different things. It was just, that's very cool. I think that's very cool that it's not just set in stone how to solve these puzzles. You can be creative and figure them out for yourself. Now, one thing that I will complain about a little bit is the difficulty level of the puzzles. I am not a puzzle game player by any means. I am not good at puzzles. I will never claim that I am good at puzzles. This game was not hard for me at all, and I struggle with even the dumbest and simplest of puzzles in games. This did not give me a struggle at all, though there were some that I was like, hmm, and it took me a minute to figure them out, but there was never a time I got stuck until the last level. There was nothing that really got me upset or like, oh man, I gotta figure this out. I didn't have that feeling, and I think for a lot of puzzle game players, that's a big mechanic, that's a big thing is to really challenge the player base. I did not feel very challenged throughout this entire game until the last level. Then I felt absolutely unprepared for whatever was next, but that was actually the end of the game, luckily. That is one of my complaints, is that it did not feel very difficult for me whatsoever. I did really like the story. It's not super easy to follow the story because you're so focused on all of the cool puzzles. At least I was. But the story is very, very in-depth. It's very good. It has a lot of highs, a, ho a lot of lows. It has just a very good concept and it was blended together seamlessly. There's not a lot going on 
really in the story. I mean, it's not like too difficult to follow. I think the issue is that you become so engulfed with the puzzles and fixing things and moving things. And I think that really takes a lot of your attention away from the main storyline. But if you just sit back and pay a little bit of attention, the story is very beautiful and it ends very well. Um, it actually ends kind of sad, um, but it ends very well. And I think that the story is a high point of this game. If you're not into lore and like learning about, you know, the story and you're just there for the puzzles, that's fine too. But the story is definitely good. It's immersive and it makes you feel these feelings that you didn't expect to feel in a puzzle game. You're also going to meet this cat named Kate that is easily my favorite character to ever exist in any video game. They are just the sweetest kitty cat in any game that I have seen. And I've played Stray. And this kitty cat gives you guidance. They try to protect your feelings. I think that this cat in game is just a phenomenal character. And whoever came up with the concept art for this, this cat is just amazing. The concept art is super cool. I like the look of him. Um, I like that he, you know, tells you things in detail, but also doesn't tell you a lot because he doesn't want to spoil what's to come. Um, but overall, one of my favorite aspects of this game, as silly as it might sound, is the cat named Kate that you meet along the way. But again, with that said, I think that the vast majority of people that want to play a puzzle game want a challenge. They don't want to blow through the content in a few hours. They want to sit down, use their thinking caps, and really submerge themselves into puzzle games. And I'm not a puzzle game player, and I still wish that this was more difficult. I wanted that rage quit kind of mentality that most puzzle games give you, and this did not give that to me. I, I was kind of hoping for more. So for my Venomous rating, I am going to give it a 7 out of 10. I do believe that there is a decent amount of content, but at the same time, I was just... I felt like the intricacy of the puzzles were quite lackluster, and I wish that they were a little more difficult. The graphic quality is phenomenal. The views are beautiful. The picture taking is so different. It is a different take on puzzle games, having to manipulate the world around you to figure out these puzzles. That is a very, very cool mechanic, and I loved that about this game. But sadly, I think that the puzzles could have been a little bit more difficult and maybe made the game a little bit longer. If the puzzles were hard, right? It would take me longer to figure them out. It would take me longer to finish the game. And I finished it relatively quickly. So I think that's a big complaint that people are gonna have is that the game does cost $25. And with that $25, you're not getting as much content as I think people are hoping for or thinking will come out of this game. With that said, that is my review on Viewfinder. As always, if you like the video, then like the video. And if you like my content in general, then please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!